Hongjong Mayon, north of Korea's 38th parallel, U.S. General Carter Magruder explains to the first Koreans to resettle the area how it will be divided into farms. 200 Korean farmers and their families who fled south during the war are building new homes to start again their peaceful way of life, which was uprooted by the horror of battle. Eventually, 20,000 Koreans will be settled on 14,000 acres in this area. On land once torn by shell fire, they will reap a new harvest from the good earth. An aerial Noah's Ark is made ready at Oakland, California for a flight to Korea, sponsored by church organizations in two states. A million and a half honeybees, count them, are the first to fly to Korea on somebody else's wings. Because virtually all insect life has been destroyed in Korea, the bees are needed to pollinize the crops and supply needed honey. 100 dairy goats are also making the trip as part of a continuing goodwill plan by American church groups to help restock the basic economy of war-ravaged nations. Korea bound, an airline's dream, more than two million paid up passengers with steward service for all, despite some crowding in the aisles.